find I will definitely put it over. As I said, it looks like by John Quixote. Wrote up there. Quite hard to see it though in the light. Hi guys, so today we're in Dublin and uh, Newcastle, Dublin, uh, we're in St Finian's Church of Ireland. When we got here, after two hours driving, it was actually locked up. So I've rang the number and he kindly let me in. Now it is beautiful, behind me is the entrance and I'm going to turn you around and have a look at the church and this little small graveyard. So just look at this, it is absolutely stunning autumn already making an appearance all the leaves on the ground as i said this is saint finian's church of ireland isn't it just beautiful look at that now the church is closed but I think we will take a walk around and read some of these headstones. I see one here on the ground. 1791. Grogan is the surname. Eleanor Grogan, actually. And she erected the stone for her husband, Richard. As I said, 1791 there. Huge headstone here. Here lights the body of, looks like Neeson Augustine, maybe, coin, 1829, age just 19. Nobody else there, only Neeson, Augustine, Coyne. And this looks like a vault. Lovely tomb here as well. Looks like urns there on the ground, possibly designs, and maybe even, actually it could well be the the leg of this tabletop tomb. Very hard to read that, unfortunately. The stone was erected by Catherine Ryan. It looks like a memory of her beloved husband, Patrick. who departed this life, May 1803, ages 49, very young as well. Doesn't seem to be writing on some of these. Very faint writing here. It looks like 17, maybe 17, 19, maybe, but I can't read the rest. Beautiful, like a granite cross. Wow, look at that. That is stunning. This one, look at this, 1721. Here lay the body of Charles Lyons, son of 
Sun 2 Owen Lines have departed this life December the 18th, 1721, just there. Now it was Linda Ball that actually told me about this place. Um, we were looking up a place in Money Gaul, I believe it was. You might remember that beautiful mausoleum that was um, being repaired. It had uh, cables wrapped around it, holding it together while they repaired it. And she actually sent me this uh, beautiful place. So I have eventually come to take a look. So this is in memory of, looks like Harvey. James Harvey. Wow, 1703. I know that light is going to flash there against the sunlight. Some beautiful designs on that as well. Beautiful rails around this tomb here. Absolutely stunning. Wow, look at the shine off that. It's almost like glitter. So I presume this is granite. No writing left whatsoever there. Right, will we take a closer look at this? This is definitely a vault, isn't it? All the ivy covering it. Okay, so I do see a coffin in there. I wonder if we'll pick up. You might see that there actually. There does seem to be something on top of the coffin. Like a, a name or a Back on it. Just there, you can see it now. Very interesting. So what's more interesting is this structure here. We're going to take a look now. It says by John Quixote there, Esquire. Very hard to see it though. But it almost looks like a mausoleum or a vault. And if you look just there, we seem to have three open coffins. You want to zoom us in? Look at that, guys. Can you believe that? Actually, there's possibly even four. One at the very back. Maybe even five. Two at the very back. One slightly leaning on its side and then two more that are actually open coffins. Wow. Look at that.
Can you believe that they are just there? It's a huge, I don't know whether you'd call it a cryptra, a mausoleum. But it is huge. And any information I find, I will definitely put it over. As I said, it looks like by John Quixote. Wrote up there. Quite hard to see it though in the light. Amazing find. Now, as I said, it is a small graveyard and we've traveled just under two hours, an hour and 50 minutes or something, because it looked so fantastic online. And uh, we have not one just there, but two like vaults or crypts, I suppose you could call them. Very, very interesting. Beautiful tomb here as well. Wonder does this go underground? The size of it, it's huge. And a beautiful day. We were very, very lucky. Now, I'm just going to bring you down. It's like um, the new Church of Ireland is built and attached to it is the runes. There's another stone here, but we won't be able to read it, unfortunately. All the writing is gone. That granite stone doesn't hold at all. And I think there at the top, um, it's probably where they're going to put ashes. And there's one tomb here. But it's so beautifully kept. Looks like James Charles or Clarence Esquire, it looks like. I don't see a date. At the cross base it says, Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine to the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks and earth's vain shadows flee. In life and death, O Lord, abide with me. And we already have an internment there, Trevor Bond, 2017, aged 85. So that's why I said, I, I presume the ashes are going to be placed in here. What a beautiful area. Unable to read it, unfortunately. James, I think it is. I don't see a date.
Here lies the body of John Reynolds. Departed January, I think it is, 1734 there. Aged just 12 years. Wow, so young. And just look at this entrance. So guys, that's all from here in St. Finian's Church of Ireland in Dublin, Newcastle, Dublin. Um, well worth coming up to have a look. It is absolutely stunning. Um, beautiful day, as I said. Autumn is in the air. I can see the leaves are, are falling. But uh, some great finds there with the, the coffins just left open. Strange. Anyway, guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all soon.